streaming live on YouTube. Wait, this camera's messed up. Front camera. Okay. Now this is Flipper. This is the 1990s TV series, not the 1950s TV series on light TV. To you and your family, with light TV, there is something good on. Show is about to begin. TVG, most parents would find this program suitable for all ages. Listen up, folks. The Dodge Masters of Lieutenant Command of the United States Navy Reserve. You don't want to be court-martialed? I'll argue. <laughs> Dana! Holly! Oh, oh, well, when you called to tell me you were coming down. Well, I didn't know myself till yesterday. I just had to get out of Miami to stay sane. Yeah, you have to die of your life. That's a <laughs> promise. Well, you better go. You're going to have a fantastic dive out of your day. You're not coming. No, no, I can't. I'm sorry. But look at you when you get back, okay? Okay. You must be Dana Fletcher? Yeah, hi. Right. Thanks, Cap. Don't worry about the weather, folks. It's going to be great when we're out there. Dana, I've got a lot of talking to when you left. Oh, uh, she's probably in the drive. No one else? 
some more of that check. Yeah, there's got to be one more. Well, they're all here. Even dozen. an MD on it. Maria D. One of mine. Is that the one she was wearing? Probably, but I can't be sure. Well, if I came up and the boat was gone, not much air left, that's what I'd do. I'd drop my weights up. Well, she's got her tanks and her vest. That'll keep her afloat. The water's pretty warm. I should not. Be. He's got something.
Why would she get rid of her mask? She wouldn't. It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, Holly, but I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Mr. Fletcher, but there's still a very good chance that you'll be okay. I, I can't believe this has happened. I mean, what are you people, amateurs? I'm the one who left the message, Mr. Fletcher. Tom Hampton, search and rescue. Jackson Fletcher. Are you the one that took her out? Cap Dolph. I can't tell you how bad I feel about this. I don't know how it happened. No, that's how it happened. I was the dive master, Mr. Fletcher. I can imagine how you must feel. We were very careful to follow all regulations. What am I supposed to think? She put her trust in you people. It's really too early to start blaming anyone, Mr. Fletcher. Let's just concentrate on finding Dana, okay? You have heard the last of this. I counted them four times. There were 12 divers each and every time. Tom, I agree. I did three tallies. All the divers were accounted for. Who did the final count? I did, I think. And look how I did. Well, I can't remember every little detail. Nothing like this has happened to me before. I'm an old salt. I know what the sea can do. Safety first and last. I live by that. You can ask anybody. Tom. I talked to the other divers. None of them can remember seeing or getting on board, let alone getting off. What did they say about the head count? They said Cap was yelling a lot because they wouldn't stand still. Sounded like it was kind of chaotic. Tom, can I talk to you? When I did the final tally, Dana was on board. I need you to believe that. Do you remember actually seeing her? Well, you count heads. You don't see faces. The cap and I count no, the whole time. I believe you, honey. I'm just trying to figure out what went wrong. Tom, he's the boss. Lieutenant Hampton. Uh, yes, sir, but... Yes, sir, I hear what you're saying. I will. Good night. What did he say, Tom? He's getting phone calls from higher up. The girl's father knows some senator. <laughs> they want my blood, huh? Look, if you followed regulations, everything's gonna be okay. You really believe that? Yes, I do. But in the meantime, I've been ordered to suspend your commercial license and impound the Marina B. I'm sorry, Cap. Blackberry tastes exactly like blackberry hint water. They made this watermelon taste like hint water, too. How did you farmer wizards make all this fruit taste just like hint water? Well, we triple irrigate our fruit with hint water in the world's largest biosphere, which modifies the DNA to taste exactly like hint water. Cool. I wonder if their lemons taste just like lemon hint water. I wonder if their pineapples taste like hint water, too. Find out for yourself at drinkhint.com. Right now, for a limited time, new customers can get 40% off our top flavors. That's 36 bottles from Tom and Or. Yesterday, I felt full with boundless energy. Fish.
already kissed you goodnight. I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about that girl. Well, we're still looking. We haven't given up hope. I don't want you worrying about this, though. And I guess other things aren't as big, right? Other things? Like a small, tiny thing that's stupid. Is something worrying you? Keeps trying to kiss me. Somebody's trying to kiss you? Carl Gleason. This boy at school with a runny nose. Right here. It's disgusting. Um, I think we better get your mom in on this. Well, you're my dad now, right? So I'm telling you. Okay. What should I do? Cindy Tyler says to punch him right in the nose. Uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Have you asked Carl Gleason not to do it? Yeah, but he just goes... <laughs> um, have you told the teacher about it? No. Well, next time he tries it, I want you to go straight to your teacher and tell her, okay? Okay. You're still awake, Jack. She's just going to bed now. Night, Tom. Good night. Night, Mom. <laughs> she all right? Uh, yeah, she just couldn't sleep, that's all. Oh, who can? I'll head out at first light with Holly. They still haven't found her. Couldn't have got it wrong, could I, Tom? No. Search and rescue, passing down the range. Still off sighting, Tom. Over. Stay on your present heading, Mark. Follow the main current. Over. I'm hoping real hard. She's not caught in it. Over. Well, if she is, she's halfway to the Bahamas by now. Out. Didn't get any sleep last night, huh? Cap, I spent the whole night convincing myself we did everything right. We did everything right, Alexandra. I mean, they want to blame somebody. Blame me. I was the skipper. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. I thought I recognized you yesterday. You've been to the house today. Holly Myers, Mr. Fletcher. Oh, Miss Holly. Can we talk? Doing everything we can to find her, Mr. Fletcher. I just want you to understand that. What I understand is that if my daughter's dead, then you're to blame. Mr. spoke to Dana just before she went out. Yes, I was helping Alex and Kat. Did she talk about anyone? Well, we really didn't have time. She didn't mention a guy called Rick. No. Do you know him? Not very well. He operates a seaplane from someplace around here. Do you know where? Why do you want to speak to him? I think it was Holly. I need to talk to him. I'm sorry, I really don't know. I don't don't like me. Let go of my arm. Please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Did he hurt you? No, no. I just it was just unexpected. Does he think that Rick knows something about Dana's disappearance? Well, I know he doesn't like him. Dana used to talk to me about how he was always trying to break them up. Are they still together? Yesterday was the first time I've seen her in months. I'm heading out in the lodge. Okay. Call Mark when you get to the search area. I will. Cap, you're with me. You're right. So this Rick Kelly, do you know where he hangs out? Yeah. Okay, you better take me there.
There you go, slow slicing fruits, veggies, and those stinky onions that bring you to tears. But not anymore. Introducing NutriChopper, the compact handheld speed slicer that cuts up to 10 times quicker than a knife. Watch, you can have one slice or 10 perfect slices at once. Amazing! You can just julienne or you can bundle slice julienne sticks at lightning speed. With NutriChopper, you can slice the entire onion or mince a mound of onions and never have time for tears. Why slice a single apple wedge when you can wedge it all in one snap? NutriChopper comes with the razor-sharp interchangeable stainless steel blades you need to make all of the cuts you want and all incredibly quick. Chop thick slices, chop thin slices, chop cubes, chop sticks, and wedge whole fruits and vegetables in just one second. Slice it and cook it right in the pan, right on your stove. Chop and slice right into the pot for a family-sized stew with no mess. Snap and slice a fruit salad for the kids right into the bowl in seconds. Slice up a healthy salad for a quick and easy meal on the go. Cube meats and cheese is quick in a snap. And NutriChopper comes with a perfect portion container and fresh keeping lid so you can slice it, seal it, and store it all in one. To clean, simply rinse or rack it in a dishwasher. Then lock it to store it safely in a drawer. And now the NutriChopper with the thin slice, thick slice, wedge and cube blades and the slice and store container and lid, a value of over $40, is yours for just $19.99. But wait! Order now and we'll even pay the shipping for you. You get the complete NutriChopper set with blades and container with lids, all for just $19.99 with free shipping. Here's how to order. Do you order call money and forgot? Search and rescue. Have you found her? No, not yet. I know you, Holly, right? Hi, Rick. I want to ask you. Look, if you're going to tell me I have to prepare myself for the worst, forget it. She's alive and I'm going to find her. It's nice to see you, Holly. I'm sorry I can't stop. Whoa, wait a second. came to see me. I warned her you were trouble. Why couldn't you stay away from her? Listen, Mr. Fletcher, I know this is hard for you, but try to keep it to a shout, okay? Rick, when was the last time you saw Dana? Yesterday. She had a couple of days off. She wanted to get away from Miami. Away from you. Hey! We were going to fly down to Fort Jefferson for a picnic. I had a problem with the fuel pump. I thought I could fix it easy, but after a couple of hours, well, you know what Dana's like, Holly. She hates waiting. Right. Suddenly she's like, I'm going diving. And you didn't go with her. I don't treat her like a child. Maybe you should need This is not going to help find Dana. She would never come down here if it wasn't for him. Why don't you get back on your boat and rejoin the search? I'll deal with you later. He wonders why she wanted out. Off the starboard bow, Alexandra. Flipper's got something in the water. All right, steady. Slow down. Okay. one that Dana was wearing? It's got to be. Look at this thing. This, this must have been done by a shark. There's no sign of blood. blood. Dana might have taken it off. Why would she take it off? I mean, if it's the only thing keeping her afloat, why would she take it off? Look, the only thing this proves is that we're searching in the right area. So let's keep looking.
Where's mom? I'm starving. Yes, with her. He wants to play. That's dumb. Not dumb. He should be out there searching. He just wants to play. Hi. Here's mom. Mom, my stomach's growling. Oh, really? We'll have to have lunch quickly after the bachelor's search. Come on, let's go. Jack, Tom told me about the boy at school that's been kissing you. It's no big deal, Mom. Really. We don't have to do anything. Have you talked to Miss Rodriguez about it? Not yet. I'm really hungry, Mom. Okay, well, maybe we'll talk about it later. It just came in. Looks like our boy, Rick Kelly, got himself in some trouble a few weeks ago. He punched some guy, but charges were dropped. Let's find out who the guy was. I'm on it. Let's keep Fletcher and this hothead away from each other. Yeah, uh, Dana's father missed his last check-in. Looks like he dropped out of the search. Think he's going to pay Rick another house call? Don't surprise me. for 2020 Asian consultation. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, great. Cleared my sinuses. <laughs> Any sign of Rick? Not in the house. This could be interesting. Do you have any idea how that happened? Well, the fire guys think it could have been a faulty gas cylinder. But I'm betting they're going to find evidence of a thermonuclear weapon, what it felt like. guy Rick got into a fight with it was Fletcher's lawyer. He offered him cash to stay away from Dana. Interesting. You know Fletcher's in the surveillance business. So he'd know all about timers and micro switches. You know how to make a nice big fire bomb, yeah. I don't believe this! Fletcher did this, did he? No evidence of that. Where is he? Look, you're gonna stay away from him, pal. Don't give me any more heat, Rick. I've been toasted already. Well, these are the graphs of your voices? Yeah. That's Aphrodite, that's Venus, and that's Flutter. Wow. They're all at different frequencies, huh? It sounds all the same to me. Oh, with your mouth full, please, Chris. So which one did Miss Rodriguez like? This one. The one I drew. A flipper rescuing a baby seal. That's a good drawing. No other problems at school? Carl Gleason? No. He came up to me and said he'd never do it again. Ever. Hope to die. Oh, maybe one of the teachers spoke to him. Tom! Oh, yuck! Mother! Stop looking good, Tom. What happened to you? Oh, nothing really. I just got a little close to the fire, that's all. Really, I'm fine. I'll tell you all about it later. Is everything okay here? Yeah, fine. No fires and... No kissing boys. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm going to go talk to Flipper. What happened? Fire at Rick Kelly's place. Has this got something to do with Fletcher? It's beginning to look like it. I'm going to go clean up. Be careful, Tom. Always. Hey, Aphrodite. Where's Flipper? So, did Carl Gleason say anything about your face? How did you know that? 
Who told him you had a rare disease? Who told him what? If you catch it, your face turns all green and slimy. That's gross. It worked, didn't it? You know what you are? What am I? You're a genius. That's gross. <laughs> Rick Kelly's trailer went up in a ball of flame this afternoon. Huh? Teddy, he wasn't in it. I didn't say he wasn't. You would have told me if he was. Your boat was seen headed that way just before it happened. <laughs> All right, yes, I was going back there, then I changed my mind, and I joined in the search again. Ask around, plenty of people saw me. morning. I was a little heavy-headed. That's okay. Dana's all I've got. When her mother died, uh, she pulled me through it. I honestly don't think I could have gone on without her. If we could change places right now, I'd give everything I own to know she's safe. I just wanted to say that. I appreciate it. Thank you. and dug it out of the wreckage. It's part of a bomb. Fletcher sells state-of-the-art electronics. This is strictly low-tech. Wasn't Fletcher, who was it? You heard the rumor? What rumor? It was Rick. He's been acting kind of weird lately. First of all, he gives away his whole CD collection. Then he starts dropping in on people he ain't seen for years. Let me guess, he's doing a drug run to South America. And Dana wouldn't be in it, so he sends it to Davy Jones' locker. You heard it? Yeah, some people watch too much TV, Cat.
paycheck to every... Mobile app I can send fun. These late fees or at the ends of people. Everybody that I know, I am able to keep track of 200 order. A direct deposit to do your next bank card. Idea? What kind of trouble you caused? You just let me explain. I mean, I'm glad you're alive, but a lot of people are hurting. Cap thinks it's all his fault. They've taken away his vote. Never meant for this to backfire on him. It has. Sadly. Your father's really hurt, too. He doesn't care about me. That's not true, Dana. I talked to him. He cared about me. He'd accept rent. He wants Dana to marry someone rich and boring, not some bum pilot. You know what he did a couple of weeks ago? He sent his lawyer to bribe me to stop seeing Dana. When I refused, he said next time it'd be a couple of guys with baseball bats. That's what your father's really like, Holly. He doesn't want me to have my own life. Now you understand? Why didn't you just leave right away? The engine quit on us. We had to wait till I could fix it. But Dana's father kept threatening me, getting in the way. So you set fire to your place so he'd get the blame? We were desperate, Holly. Yeah, what if Tom had been hurt? Huh? Huh? Where are you planning to go? Jamaica. I'm going to live on this amazing beach there. You can come visit if you want. You can play with our kids. Dana wants three, but um, I want 13. Dana, I really think you should come back. Tell your father that this is what you want. I've tried, Holly, so many times. Running away isn't the answer. I'm not running away. Starting a new life. I'll bring Dad as soon as we arrive. Just let him know I'm safe. We gotta get loaded up. We leave in 30 minutes. Okay. As soon as we're gone, you can tell Tom, okay? Bye, Holly. tied up with that boat, Alexandra. She's my home, my job, my best friend. Without the Maria D, I'm nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna go and see a cow. Try and explain. Maybe they'll listen to me.
give her up to someone else. She'll never stop being your daughter. I'm sorry. I didn't want to get you into trouble. Well, you got a lot to be sorry for, young lady. At least you're safe. That's all that really matters. them apart, then no one's learned anything from this. Right? What you did was wrong. It caused a lot of people a lot of trouble. But if you still want to leave, I can't stop you. For more full episodes of Flipper, hit the big red button and subscribe. Peace out, YouTube. Let's see. I'm going.